thought it would be worth taking just a minute here to go over this method in a little bit more detail. I brought out a few pictures here. First things, just caveat, don't be dumb. When you're messing with electricity, bad things can happen. So kind of know what you're doing. Also, don't do this test with 120 volt circuit. Make sure you're on the lamp circuit or the solenoid circuits, usually plus six volts or plus 25, 50 volts range, but don't do it with 120 volts and then don't hurt yourself or the machine. And going over this, what I have here is the diagram or the circuit for the hole kicker. And if you're unfamiliar with this, I can kind of go through quickly. This is the solenoid symbol. And these are the switches that require this to fire. Essentially what I need to do is go and complete a complete path. So if I start here, I have to go all the way around, come back through, come through the transformer and come back up. If that happens, this solenoid is going to engage or fire. And just before I dig in a little bit deeper, just realize the transformer down here, this is going to be 25 volts or 50 volts, depending on what game you have. On the bottom side is 120 volts. Don't do this on the bottom half of the transformer. Make sure you're on the top half. Other thing I don't have in this diagram is there is a fuse right here in between the transformer and bounce switch. And this is kind of why I'm using the bounce switch, as you'll see in the next picture. That way, if something bad does happen, there is a fuse here that will hopefully blow and just a extra added precaution. And that's why I kind of picked the bounce switch to pick that and not directly to the transformer, which you could also do, but I prefer having that little bit of security with that extra fuse in line here. What's gonna happen on the hole kicker is the G relay, there's a switch that's normally open. On the X relay, there's one that's normally closed. Score motor, 4C switch is normally open. And then the B of X, end of game, is normally closed. And if this hole kicker is gonna fire, this G needs to close and the score motor needs to get called and spin. And when it spins, this is gonna close at one point. Once I have that, I can have a complete circuit here. What I'm doing with the alligator test is I'm kind of essentially testing each switch and making sure it is closed. When I start this, I'm gonna connect it to the solenoid, the whole kicker solenoid. And I'm going to go to the bounce switch and it doesn't matter really if I'm on the left or right of this. I know this bounce switch is working because all my other switches and solenoids are firing. I know this is fine. So I could have went to the left of it or the right of it in this diagram. I just went to the right of it. And what this alligator clip is doing is it's bypassing G, X, score motor 4C, and BX. So the path that's going to take is it's going to go through the solenoid, come down, it's going to take the least amount of resistance, and come here. If I just touch this bounce switch and this coil fires, it tells me that, first of all, my coil's good. That's one thing I want to check kind of right away. And then I know my problems then is going to be one of these four switches. But depending on where you want to go, you can go, you know, right of BX and make sure there's a solid connection. I can go left and keep going down. And eventually I'm going to find where that break is at. On the next one, what I'm doing is I'm going right on the right side of score motor 4C. And now the path that it's going to take is it's going to go through the solenoid, come down through the jumper, go through B of X and all the way back to the start here. If I touch the alligator clip here on motor 4C and it fires, that tells me BX is closed and this is working. The next thing I'm going to do is just keep moving down. And now if I do the same thing on score motor 4C, and one thing I point out in the video at the end here is I manually close this switch. That way I don't have to jumper it or anything. I can truly test it. And so kind of imagine this switch is now closed. I'm jumping over both G and X. And if I touch this and it fires, that then tells me this switch is good and BX is good, which I already knew. And I'm just keep going down. And now I do this. If I touch it here and it fires, that tells me X score motor 4C and BX are all good. And the only thing left is G. So on my game, it was this G, it was misaligned. I had to go back. I cleaned it, aligned it. And once this was properly adjusted, this fired. 
And this was, you know, kind of an easier way to demonstrate how to troubleshoot this whole kicker not firing. Just want to go back and show this, maybe make a little bit more sense. And now I can go back to the video here and kind of show you what I did in the game. So hopefully that makes sense for you. Here I just want to show how troubleshooting the whole kicker problem. I'm just going to do the jumper wire method here. And what I've done, I've connected to the green and red wire on the out hole kicker solenoid. And first thing I'm going to do, there are four switches I need to check. I'm going to jumper all four of those and go directly to the bounce switch because that goes to the fuse and then that goes to the transformer. So what I have, just a alligator clip here, and what I have is the bounce switch right here. And if I touch this, I should get a coil to fire. And it does fire. Next switch is the BX switch. I'm going to go ahead and skip that one and check if motor 4C switch is working. If I check the right side of that and it works, that tells me BX is working. 4C is really easy to get at. It's right here. One thing I did is I disconnected the power to the motor, turned this, so now this switch here is closed. It's normally open. So again, I just took the power off, turned it, and now this switch is closed right here. And what I want is this blue and yellow wire here. So if I hit this and it fires, that tells me that the BX switch is good. So that tells me BX is good. I can go on the other side of this switch. So this is left of it. And if this fires, this tells me that the motor 4C switch is good. And it tells me it's good. So I'm just gonna keep going down. The next thing I need to get at is the x relay and on the x relay i'm looking for the slate red and yellow red wire if that one's good i'm just going to keep going down and then it goes to the g switch which is the yellow red and also green red so let me see if i can get here so x is right here the yellow red is right here this is going to be i think the left side of it so that fired. Now I'm coming to the G relay and that fired. And so what this tells me is it's the G relay because that's the only switch left. Once I go to the left side of it and I would have to manually activate this because it's normally open, it should fire. So what I need to do is check this G switch, maybe clean, adjust it and see if that brings back the problem. But I've eliminated the BX, the score motor and the X one. And now I should be able to get this working again, but wanted to show how to do that.